In this video, we're going to cover the Palo Alto feature called Wildfire. Wildfire is like antivirus and anti-spyware, but it is designed for zero-day type exploits. Uh, definitely read up more about what Wildfire is and how it can work for you, and we'll get into how to configure it. So Wildfire is, there we go. Uh, Wildfire is a policy or a profile uh, that is used to help secure your traffic. In order to secure our or to develop our security profiles, we have to go under objects. On the objects tab, we go ahead and we scroll down on the left hand side and it is under the security profile section here, wildfire analysis. We can see that there is a default uh, policy there or we will go ahead and ignore that and we'll just go ahead and create our own. So I'll say add. Um, I'll go ahead and just call this uh, test wildfire. And then we click add and we add in the various options that we want to include here. Uh, I'm going to just call this one scan PE uh, in order to scan all what's called PE files. Uh, applications any file types I will uh, I don't want to leave it any I want to specify the type so I'm going to say add and in the drop down list here I'm going to specify PE uh, you can see there's other types APKs uh, archives such as zip files RAR files and such email flash jar uh, office PDF script uh, PE is essentially all executables, such as EXEs, DLLs, OSX, SCRs, and so on. Uh, direction for both, meaning it will scan for both up, going up to the internet and down from the internet. And then a public cloud, which means it will actually upload to Palo Alto's public cloud infrastructure to scan the systems. Uh, you could also include a private cloud option if you didn't want your files going out to the internet. So I'm going to go ahead and say OK. Now that my profile is defined in order to use it, all I have to do is modify my security policies. So I'll go to policies. I have my outside policy right here. No restrictions whatsoever from the inside to the outside. And under profile, I want to specify profiles and then for wildfire analysis I want to specify the wildfire profile I just created say okay and let's go ahead and commit those changes so while that is committing I want to find a way to be able to test this and make sure it is in fact working in order to do that, there is actually a specific URL that we can go to on the on Palo Alto's website that will help us identify this. Uh, specifically, I'm going to open up a new browser here. Uh, let's actually do an Internet Explorer. Specifically, we can go to wildfire dot palo alto networks dot com slash public api slash test slash pe this is a file that apparently i typoed http wildfire palo alto public api test palo alto networks there we go uh, this is a file that I'll just go ahead and save it. Um, and then it says, hey, this uh, this may not be good. Uh, I'm actually just going to go ahead and say delete. It's perfectly acceptable to download that. It is a file that specifically exists simply to throw a warning message. Um, if I tried to execute it, it wouldn't actually do anything bad to my computer, but there's no reason to actually test that. So. Now that I've downloaded a file, a file that was not caught by antivirus, Wildfire should have submitted that up to the public cloud servers to validate if that was a working or a valid file or not, or a malicious file or not. In order to confirm that, what I want to do is I want to come over to the monitor tab in the Palo Alto. Uh, clear that out. On the left hand side here we have the various types of logs and I want to specifically look for the wildfire submission. So I'll click on that 
and right now it shows nothing because what happens is it did actually submit the wildfire file up to uh, Palo Alto for investigation, but this log only populates once it's gotten a response back from Palo Alto. This may take between five and 10 minutes for it to finally work, so I'm going to go ahead and fast forward, and when I come back, we should have a response here. All right, and as we can see here, we now have a response in our wildfire submissions log. That took a little bit longer than I had hoped, but hey, it still worked. Uh, we can click on the little uh, magnifying glass icon over here on the left-hand side to get more details as far as what happened. Uh, we can see, yes, this was from web browsing. This is the rule that allowed it to work. Uh, and it identified this file as being malicious. So that's definitely not a file you would want to allow into your environment. Great thing is it also tells us who accessed it as far as the source uh, user. And so now you can go back to those users and you can say, hey, it looks like you downloaded a malicious file. We need to go ahead and clean out your system and make sure that everything is working properly.